Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I have a huge FabFitFun edit sale box. I have to tell you, I don't remember ordering enough that needed this box, but let's get in here and see what I've got. Open. I'm going to show you guys what's on the inside and then I'm going to take a minute and take everything out of it because this can't stay between us. So it's got lots of stuff and fluff. It's about half full so that's not too bad. Okay I have taken everything out and I'm willing to admit perhaps I went a little overboard but there are well, there's at least one gift in here. There might be more. I didn't really stop and look at everything. I wanted us to see them together. Right off the bat, because one of these probably is a gift, I got two sets of the Corksicle Champagne Flutes. So it's gonna be like celebratory? No, Champagne Flutes. I got two of the blue and two of this purple slash lavender thinking that I might like a set for a gift with a bottle of champagne or something. Wouldn't that be so cute? But I chose two in this purple and I don't think it was called purple. I think it was called something dust. Yeah, it's it's called pixie dust because I hope this will come across in some way. In the lavender, it's like, it's not glittery. It's just kind of sparkly. I hope you guys can see that. So I got two of these and like I do with all of these videos, I will put the prices down here. I want to say these were like $9 a piece and that is a really good deal, but I'm letting you know right here. And I got two in this pretty turquoise also. So I have two. Oh look, this one doesn't have a rim and this one does. Interesting, just the way they design them. But for champagne or little wine, thought it'd be perfect. Spoiler alert, I have wine coming up in a video. So I just thought a set for me and a set for a gift, these were perfect. I also have in the midst of this a mystery bundle, right? Next, if you're not sitting down, I'll wait a minute. You go ahead and sit down. Okay, everybody sitting? I ordered <laughs> sponge gels. I know, I know. We've talked in the past about how I don't particularly love sponge gels. I based my not love, I'm not even gonna say dislike, my not love of sponge gels off of one encounter with them that is what those two look like. And that is what that one looks like. I found them to be rough. I felt like if I put enough water in them to soften them up and squeezed them enough that I was losing so much of the soap. I couldn't, but you know what? You guys love them so much. And Jessica over at Everything Proof Beauty, which by the way, we're not doing a bundle battle this time. We're just opening our bundles. We will be back to battle come winter. She loves them and I thought, you know what? I've got to give them a second chance. And they had a set of three. And again, I will put the price here, but I want to say it was like $16 for three of them. That is such a good deal. So this one is Ginger Bergamot. This one is called Sugar Crush. And this one is, oh, it's Botanica by Spongel. Gotiana Alata Tobacco Flower with extracts of rosehip, green tea, and hibiscus. I've never seen that one before. So let's see if I can tell what they smell like just in there. Oh, this one's blue. I remember that now. This one is a blue a butterfly. Look guys, isn't that so cute? It smells really good. I have never, never had coral with sponge gel scents. They are so fantastic. I have a couple of their hand lotions, one of their body lotions. I love their scents. Although I do find the body lotion to be a little sticky. Sticky enough that <laughs> when I first used it, the very first time I used it, I went back and looked at the bottle after I had smeared it on my body and the stickiness 100% goes away. You just have to wait a couple of minutes. But when I started rubbing it into my body, I was like, was this shower gel? <laughs> it was not, it was the body lotion and it does absorb. But okay, off on a sponge gel tangent. Yeah, this smells really nice. And again, that one is tobacco flower. This one is Sugar Crush. This one says 18 plus uses. This one is 14 plus washes and it is the Sugar Crush in a pretty pink. Oh, and this one's shaped like a flower and it smells really nice. I feel like I know that Sugar Crush scent. It smells kind of, this is very bougie. It smells a little bit like the Prada candy scents. I like that. And I was just gonna say, these didn't come with the strings, but on the inside, it tells you ribbon can be unsnapped and used to hang the sponge in the shower. So this was what was coming out of here and it's just a snap. They say it's a snap. <laughs> it's 
I'm having flashbacks to body butter. Okay, got it. And you would just put it through the hole that's in here. Just put that right through and then, so they're just saving ribbons. I appreciate it. And the last one in the three pack is the ginger bergamot. And this is probably what won me over. I love ginger bergamot. And this says it's 14 plus washes. Same story with the ribbon, so that must be what they do now. I don't think my first one that was the story. I think in the very first one where I had them and then rejected them, I think that the ribbon was through this. But this is just, oh, it smells so good. I'm using this one first. It's kind of gingery and orangey. Yeah, I buy that, ginger bergamot. So we're gonna give Spongel another chance. I'm gonna try this one first, and if I don't like it, then you'll be seeing these in giveaways. <laughs> Moving on next, I'm just gonna glaze right past this. I have a Daily Concepts <laughs> Daily Body Scrubber because you know I can't not get one. Enough said, I've showed you guys a thousand of these. If you have any questions, let me know below. Moving on. In that same vein, I also have a Daily Concepts <laughs> Your Mesh Sponge. I picked these up. I'm letting you know here the price. I think this is $5. It's a little more than the ones that you can pick up like at Target or the grocery store, but they're bigger. They're fluffier, they're softer. I like them. Moving on. If you have any questions, let me know below. Next, and I went back in and made this choice after I talked to several of you guys. This is the Green Goo First Aid. This was the only Green Goo that was left. I look at this every sale that FabFitFun has, and I say to myself, do you need that? And I always think, for what? But it looks really intriguing, and they have like a muscle one, and they have several. Let me know below if you like the Green Goo, which is your favorite one. But after talking to you guys, when I went back in to choose one, this was the only one available. So this is the Green Goo First Aid, it doesn't say it, but I guess ointment, and it has calendula, yarrow, and comfrey. Let's get in here. It's just a tin, kind of like, you know, back in the day. Well, I imagine they still have it, like badger balm, that kind of thing. That's what it looks like, and it's just a tin. And the back says, first aid, this power packed herbal formula temporarily protects and helps provide relief for cuts, scrapes, blisters, sunburns, chafing, and cracked hands and feet. Caution, may simplify your life by replacing many of your conventional first aid items. So now I just wait to be in need of first aid so I can tell you guys how awesome it is. Okay, next we will move into the shampoo portion of the program. I picked a Moroccan Gold Series salt-free shampoo. I have had this in the past. I love the mask. I like the spray-on mask. I just put one in a giveaway. I like the leave-in mask. I buy them every time they're available. This is the shampoo. Like I said, I have had it, used it, love it. I love the scent of it. I feel like it leaves my hair tame. It doesn't, my hair doesn't really wanna be frizzy except for right under here, and you guys probably see it sometimes. Right under here, it wants to be a little frizzy. I just love how this makes my hair feel soft, but not weighed down. Yeah, and I do love the scent. It's just a clean, Moroccan-y, <laughs> oily. <laughs> Someday I'm gonna get better at scents for you guys. Next with shampoo. We have the Christoph Robin Regenerating Shampoo with Prickly Pear Oil. I got this because it matches the Booster Box mask that I did in our regular fall box. I did the booster box and I thought if the mask is good using his shampoo before the mask has got to even be better. So I'm only going to use this when I use the mask which is just once or twice a week. It smells good. It smells exactly like the mask did. Maybe actually a little less scent. I like it. So I'm anxious to see what this does for my hair. It says that it's known for regenerating and repairing and its antioxidant virtues are ideal for damaged and dry hair. Its creamy formula allows a deep action from roots to tips. I'm set for shampoo for a while. Okay, and oh, next. I'm trying to decide whether to show this or not. I know my daughter lets my granddaughters watch my videos. All right, well, this one's just not gonna be a surprise. I picked this up, one of my granddaughters has an October birthday, and I picked this up to add to her birthday pile, and it's called Craft Crush Felt Succulents. You make your own felted succulent tray, and you just, look how cute it is. It's just a nice little craft project, and I thought it would be something fun for her to play with, so I guess that's one less surprise. <laughs> Next, I have the Ciate Glitter Storm Lipstick. 
And that is what that looks like. I have ordered this once before. I did not last time get the color that I ordered, so it wasn't as useful to me. This one is in Apollo. We'll see if it's better. The last one was a little too rusty, although with fall hair now, I should dig that out. Oh yeah, this one is awesome. Guys, how gorgeous is that? Is that not so pretty? It's so pretty. It is in Apollo. I'm gonna try and just put it on a little bit over the lip gloss and we'll see what it does. Oh, this color is gonna be gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I love that. And it's got the glitter in it. I love that color. How gorgeous is that gonna be for fall? I like it a lot. Yay. I liked the formula of this last time I got it, but like I said, it came in kind of a rusty color. I should dig that out for fall, but this one is way better for me. And next I have, and this is the first time that I have done food from them, and it's just the sugars. This is what they look like wrapped up. Let me get them out of here. And these are just fancy sugars. And I know you're saying, what are you gonna do with them? I don't know. <laughs> but these are by Gustus Vitae and it's cocoa cashmere gourmet sugar, salted vanilla gourmet sugar, and by the fireside gourmet sugar. And that is what they look like. And look guys, they're magnetized. How fun is that? The cocoa cashmere sugar has cane sugar, crystallized maple, Dutch processed unsweetened cocoa powder, coconut flakes, coconut palm sugar, cinnamon, and ginger. Coffee maybe, or tea, how good would that be? And then the salted vanilla is just sugar, vanilla bean, vanilla bean extract, and salt. And the by the fireside is cane sugar, crystallized honey, orange zest, vanilla bean, cranberry, chipotle, and nutmeg. If you have ever gotten these and you've done something really fun with them or you have just any ideas of what I could do with these, please let me know below. Those just all sounded so good to me the day I was ordering it, I had to have them. Next, and I'm also very excited about this. There is nothing better than finding something in the FabFitFun edit sale than something that you were gonna buy anyway and spend full price for at half price. I think this is a $40 product and I think I picked it up for $19. Again, I'm letting you know here. And it is the Oma Fair Lady Sculpt and Strobe Stick. And it's called the Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Stick because it's two-sided and one side is a strobe, it's a highlighter. And the other side is a sculptor. And I have been wanting to try this. I have used a few things from this brand and have always enjoyed it. Let me show you guys. Oh, that's pretty. The gold is so pretty. Wow, that is dark. And this is the light one. This is the fair lady one. But I suspect, you know, you just, go, I would go in with a very light hand and then use my sponge to lift it. But I have been saying, you know, with fall and winter coming, I want to go into using more creams and I have been wanting to try this. Let's see how this blends out. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Of course, I have enough on to share with three friends, but it does blend out very nicely. It is just so creamy. I cannot wait to try this in an appropriate amount on my face. I'm gonna take that off before I get it all over everything that I do. And it is going to contour well because can you guys see where I put it is still a little dark and I have wiped it off. That is awesome. I love cream products with staying powder because they can be difficult to find. Cream products really wanna creep right off your face. Okay, this is what we have next. What is it? I, I don't know. Grow fragrance, citrus, cedar, and ginger pumpkin. I do know. These are air fresheners. And I got them, while I open them I will tell you, I got them because they're organic. You know, most of the things that if you spray through your house, most of those things are so, they're loaded with junk, junk that you probably shouldn't be breathing. And so I just thought I would give these a try. I use a lot of candles and I do a lot of diffusing and I don't think my house particularly smells. I just like a nice scent. This is packed so well. So now that I've taken out of the bag, it's in this cute little cardboard. I'm sure this is how it goes for retail. I wish at this point I would put one of those, if you guys watch Jess, you know she does that several minutes later with SpongeBob on it. I wish I had one of those because it took a hot minute to get these out of its packaging, but I fully appreciate that because they are here, they haven't leaked, they are well protected. I have ginger pumpkin, which yay fall, and citrus cedar, and cedar makes me think of winter, so that's what I was thinking there. Let's go ahead and try the ginger pumpkin now. Oh, 
it smells so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay! It smells so good. It's sweet and nice. Oh my goodness. This all smells so good right now. Oh, wow. Okay, I know that seems like a lot of excitement over a room freshener. This smells so good, guys. It is the Grow Fragrance Ginger Pumpkin Air and Fabric Refresher. Modern plant-based fragrance that's safe for your home. Unlock, shake, <laughs> spray. Me with the shaking, I never shake. Never read the directions first. Two to three sprays for a bathroom, five to six sprays for a bedroom. 100% plant-based ingredients. Toxin-free, phthalate-free, paraben-free. So I'm not gonna spray the citrus cedar right now because I don't wanna kill my pumpkin spice latte scent. And that's what it smells like. Oh my goodness. I got it on my hand. My hand smells so good. Okay, next I have a palette. And this is an Ace Beauté palette, Paradise Fallen. And that's what it looks like. As you can probably tell from the cover, I chose it because I think there are lavenders in here. I think that's what drew my attention. Sugar. When you open it up, it is a cardboard cover that looks just like the box. Oh my goodness. This is, this is stunning. This is so much prettier than I even thought. Let me take the plastic off. Maybe that'll help with the reflection. Look how gorgeous those colors are. Oh my goodness, those purples. Should we take a minute and swatch these? I think we should. I've had one or two Ace Butte palettes that I have liked, so. I'm just gonna pick the fancy colors. I'm gonna skip the browns, like on that top row. Here is that pretty gray and that silver, and then there's one called Orion that looks kind of rose gold. Those are so pretty. Okay, I picked the four colors right in the middle, and that is what they look like. It is Twilight, Eye, Night Sky, and Dusk. Oh, my hand still feels a little damp. Okay, while this dries, if you don't know about FabFitFun, it is a lifestyle box. It comes out seasonally, spring, summer, fall, and winter. It is $49.95 unless you sign up as an annual, and that makes it $44.95 per box, but you pay a year in advance. If it's something that you can swing, I encourage everybody who signs up for FabFitFun to sign up as an annual, because when customization comes out, if you are an annual, you get to customize five products instead of three. As annuals, you will seasonally ship about two weeks earlier than most seasonals. If you belong, you have access to the sales. As an annual, you get early access. Whether you can do annual or seasonal, it's a great box. Oh, this is so pretty. Look how pretty those are. I hope that holds up when I use a brush. Those are so pretty and they're cool. Not that purple isn't usually cool, it is but these have a real cool tone to them. Pretty and they're cool. Not that purple isn't usually cool, it is, but these have a real cool tone to them. Yay. All right, we are now down to my mystery bundle and it's little, I can't really see what's in it. It looks like I have a pump or two of something. I'm anxious to see what's in here. <sighs> Feel kind of lost without my battle buddy. <laughs> we, should, we should get t-shirts, battle buddies. All right. Let's dig in here and see what we got. Oh, oh it's open. <laughs> Mystery bundles are $29. They say you will get $100 or more in product. And usually you get four products, which I do have four products here today. Sometimes though, if they're really good, I have only gotten three. The first product I have is a Vega Lash. Thicker or Vega Lash. Thicker, fuller, faster. That sounds like a superhero. Oh, it's a volumizing serum. I thought it was a mascara. That's what it looks like. It's called Vega Lash or Vega Lash. And it came with a little, it's like magic. My eyelashes are actually growing. Oh, it's that's awesome. This is just for the record, this is smaller than your average mascara and it's really heavy. It is from Vegamore. Discover the power of Vegamore's plant-based serums. It says apply twice a day for the first two months, then switch to once a day to maintain results. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this downstairs and we're gonna do this and we're gonna see if I get whoosh, lashes because I do, whoosh, I don't have lashes. Okay, next, something in a bottle. Have an ESYM yoga mat spray in lavender. It looks like probably a little trial size. I'll look it up. I'll be letting you know here. Unwind and relax. Awaken the senses and inspire your yoga experience. Shake well before <laughs> spraying. And then it just tells me the ingredients. Purified water, organic ethanol. So alcohol, because in theory you want to defunkify also. 
lavender laurel wintergreen so it's gonna smell really good okay well i'm not gonna open this and spray this because my room still smells like pumpkin spice latte and i'm not killing that smell right now i'm on the fence had we battled would i have won or would jess have won so far i don't know that this is a winner the next product i have is actually a set and i'm going to leave it as a set and i'll show you why it is a set for your eyes and this would be a awesome giveaway. It is by Scone or SK1. Honestly, I'm not sure, I've never heard of it. And they're called Gems and it's two eyeshadows. This one is called Chocolate, this one is called Champagne. Let me take it out and show you a little closer. That is what that looks like. And so the other one probably looks just like it in theory. This is the chocolate. These are so pretty, but I just don't. No matter how much I tell myself I'm going to start I don't use single shadows, I just don't. Unless they happen to be like in a champagne color that I can also use for highlighter so I can travel with it or something like that, I just, so I'm gonna set that aside because it also came with an eyeliner. This is by SK1 or Scone, again, I am not sure. I think SK1 because it sounds cooler, I think Scone because I skipped lunch. And it is the Insanely Intense Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner. And that is what that looks like. And then also in the set, we have the SK-1 Scroon Waterproof Mascara. So this was a cute little eye set and this was one of the products of my four. Oh, this is pretty. Look how pretty that is. This is a real enameled black. I hope that comes across. And then this is kind of a cross between a pinky and rose gold. I'm gonna slip this right back in here. And it says SK-1 Scroon Cosmetics. And that is what the side looks like. That'll tell you all the information. And it is cruelty free and the mascara is in black. So this little set was the mascara, the two shadows and the eyeliner. That's a cute little set. And then last, because they had a definite theme going on with my mystery bundle is a milk makeup mascara. You guys know how I feel about my Thrive Mascara. I have spent the last couple of months trying new mascaras. And I have to admit, nothing compares to my Thrive, but I haven't tried this, and it is the Milk U-Bomb Mascara in Inked, which I suspect is just their black. And when we take it out, it's just one of those tubes, which I don't mind the look of, and I'm gonna take the lid off of this because I'm gonna move it right into Let's Give It A Try. I should just flat out do a mascara video. If you have any interest in that, let me know below, because I have tried some, oh. <laughs> I have tried some interesting mascaras. I suspect this one's gonna be right up there. That is the most unusual <laughs> brush I have ever seen. What in the world, guys? Yeah, I am definitely, I'm definitely moving this to the head of the list. We're gonna be giving that a try. <laughs> that is interesting. But again, it is the Milk Makeup U-Bomb, U-Bame, mascara. And it has that little whoop, whoop, whoop. That's my mystery bundle. So let me know below, what do you think? Of course, we don't know what Jess would have had, so we don't know for sure if she would have beat me, but I kind of feel like with a tiny yoga mat and an unusual mascara, and I feel like I was imminently beatable this time. <laughs> I like it though, just for this. I will do and try anything to make my lashes longer. So I am absolutely gonna give this a try and I'm absolutely gonna give this a try. That is it for my FabFitFun edit sale. Let me know below, did you do the edit sale? What did you get? So I did have a couple of gifts in here. I'm gonna give one of these sets away. I have to decide who I'm gonna give them to before I decide what I'm gonna keep because there are some people that I know would prefer this and some people that I know would prefer the purple. And we had this, all right, everything else was for me. <laughs> but it was really fun and I really feel like these are things that I will use. Again, let me know below. I had so many questions this time. Let me know below. Have you used the Milk Mascara? How did the three little lumps work for you? Have you tried any of these fancy sugars? I would like to know what you did with them if you have. Thanks so much for coming by guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here. And if I were guessing, I would say we were probably only a few weeks, two, three at the outside if I was guessing, away from spoilers for winter. I know, don't come at me. I'm as shocked as you guys are. But I think following my calendar, we're almost there. So we will be digging into those very soon. All right guys, again, thank you so much for coming by. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out and I will see you really soon. Take care guys.